guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by today. Welcome back to all of my current friends and welcome to anyone who is new here. My name's Dee. I am an avid thrifter and reseller. I resell on eBay and YouTube. I have uh, YouTube live sales every Saturday afternoon at three o'clock Eastern. I also do some collaboration sales as well. Uh, I also enjoy crafting, uh, DIYs, cooking, baking, um, vlogging. Uh, I do a little bit of everything on here. So if that sounds like something you think you would enjoy, then hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul from Goodwill. This was from my uh, past visit uh, this past Tuesday to um, Goodwill for my Senior Tuesday discount, which is 25%. Um, it's 25% off anything that is not a half price colored tag item for that week. Um, every week they have one color tag that's 50% off. So the 25% off does not count on those tagged items. Um, but anyway, I will tell you what I spent in total for everything that I'm about to show you. I spent a total of $97 and I saved... $34.98 with my discount. So let's get into this haul because I've got some great stuff here. And I also have another thrift haul I'm going to film right after this one. So when you see that one, you'll notice I have the same hair, same clothes, you know, you know the deal. I film when I have a chance. Okay. I got some really cute stuff, guys. Um, I'm going to start with this. Um, this is made by Norcrest, and it still has the um, the sticker on the bottom. Now, it does have a little issue. Let me show it to you first. How cute is that? When I saw this, I thought of my friend Tammy at Vintage Uprising Texas, because these are the colors that she loves. She is... Um, she is the 2023 Carol Brady, okay? <laughs> now, the issue is there is a chip here, but there are also some cracks up here on the top that I did not even notice when I bought it. Um, however, I do believe that it would be fine. I mean, it's just going to be hanging on the wall. Um, so I don't think there would be any issue with it cracking any further. Um, sometimes you could put a little line of crazy glue where the cracks are to prevent further cracking. But I thought it was absolutely adorable, so I had to grab it. Oh, it's, let me read it to you. Apology. Although you'll find our house a mess, come in and sit down. Converse. It doesn't always look like this. Some days it's even worse. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Okay. I saw these like art glass bottles and I just loved them. I thought they would look so cool like outside on a patio or something. Um, there's these two. They don't glow or anything. I did check, but I just thought, oh my gosh, look how cute they are with the blue bottoms. Two different sizes in this one. And then, pardon my head, then I got these two orange ones. I love the orange. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm an orange lover. I do love the color orange. But I have to say, my favorite, favorite colors are in like the teals, um, purple, you know. But I do love these. So I got those. Let's 
see if I could slide those over there. Now, all taped together were these four items. So there was this cute little kitty. <laughs> He's made out of wood. Just hanging out on a little uh, heart, a little wooden heart uh, piece of wood. I don't know. What do you want to call it? <laughs> And it's really adorable for like a miniature. And then also were these two little wooden frames with these kitty pictures in them. Of course, those could be taken out and you could put, you know, whatever picture you want in there. And then the reason I bought it was for this. I don't know who makes this. Um, it is missing a flower on the top of the hat, but nobody's going to know that, really. Look at how cute she is. This is where the flower was. I could easily make a flower out of clay and stick it on there, which I probably could do. Um, but look how cute she is. Oh, my goodness. She's got some numbers on her foot, but I I don't know. I, I have an idea that she could be a left in piece. So we got that, those four little items there. She is too cute. She reminds me of Miss Pris. Then I got this awesome pipe ashtray. Look at this. Put your pipe right here. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, I thought it was so cool. And it just says on the bottom, made in England. So I picked that up. I thought that was a pretty cool item. I did grab this. This is Burton and Burton, made in China, but it's really pretty. Look at this pretty little shoe. Isn't that pretty? I just thought that was so pretty. There's the, the um, whoops, the stamp on the back. And then I got this. It still has a sticker on it from someone's garage sale that I have to get off. Um, I don't know who makes this, but I just loved the design of it. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? OMG. Love that piece. I got this little set. This is so cute. And I thought, what a great little gift idea. If you also paired it with the ingredients to make s'mores. So this is how it came. It's this little, um, kind of like a cast iron frying pan. It's made by Mud Pie. And it comes with the little wooden spoon that says yum. Whoops, upside down, whatever. And it comes with a, a recipe towel for s'mores dip. So, I mean, how cute is that? And it says, that's s'more like it. <laughs> Um, so you could, you could include, uh, some graham crack crackers, milk chocolate bars, and some marshmallows with this and tie it all up in, um, you know, plastic. And that would be a great little gift for someone. So that's why I picked that up. Somebody that loves s'mores. My daughter loves s'mores. So that could be that could be a cute little stocking idea. It's a little large to put in the stocking, but you get what I mean. Okay, then I got this. This was a four-piece set. It is a candy corn dish, and it came with this set of three candy corn candles. How cute is that? I love this. Love it. So that's that was a great item right there. 
Um, I also got this Christmas tree. Um, now they're missing the bottom that holds the batteries in, but right now they're just taped in. I don't know if you can see. Do you see that like swirling like smoke in the center? I'm trying to hold it still so you can see it. There's water in here. So I'm sure once it heats up, I'm going to leave it lit for a while and see what happens with it. I'm like, that is so cool. I'm going to set it over there and let it, let it warm up and see what happens. Okay, I also got this. This would make an awesome gift for someone. Um, I don't know what the heck is all over the top of these candles, but what I would do is just open the box and put new candles in here. Look it, it's a snowman tea light set. How cute is that? What the hell is on the top of those candles? It's kind of gross, but yeah. That's a nice gift for someone. So you know me, I always pick these um, items up when I find them at a good price. Because you never know when you're going to need a last minute Christmas gift for someone. So I have quite a few um, items like this socked away. <laughs> I did find another one of these gorgeous Indiana Glass Diamond Point candy dishes. This is in perfect condition. Except for a tiny little flea bite on one of these... Um, diamond points. I thought I felt the whole thing up. That doesn't sound right. I felt. I felt it. <laughs> I didn't feel it up. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. So I love these. I, I like the ones that come in blue. I haven't found one in quite a long time. All right, um, I did find this adorable little winter mug. I love it, warm wishes. It does have a little paint chip. It's not a chip in the actual ceramic, it's a chip in the paint, which could easily be touched up if it, if it bothered you. Um, it's St. Nicholas Square. Y'all know I love my St. Nicholas Square stuff. So that was adorable. This side, it's got little Christmas trees. I also got this because I wanted this little planter, but inside were these awesome wine stoppers. Look at, it's a butterfly one. And then this one has uh, grapes and leaves on it, like a grapevine. And then there was also this lid in here. Now, when I find stuff like this, I always buy it because you never know. Sometimes you'll find cruets or perfume bottles that don't have the little stoppers. I always will buy them. I always buy stoppers for decanters too when, I, when they're selling them like separately. I always pick them up. But this was what I really wanted out of... I love this. This is um, pottery. It almost looks like redware. And I just love this little planter. How pretty would this look with a succulent? That's like the perfect size. Really, really like that. So there's that. Let's put these back in here. Um, I did find, I found three beautiful pieces of Lennox. I got this gorgeous shell dish. There's that. This is beautiful. No cracks, no chips. And it was taped together with this beautiful bud vase. Uh, 
What a pretty set that is, right? I love it. I love Lennox. I think it's they make such beautiful stuff. And then I found this. This is gorgeous. This is Lennox also. Look at this gorgeous serving dish. I just want to make sure you could see this beautiful design. Isn't that pretty? What a gorgeous dish. Oh my gosh, I love it. Here's the mark on the back. No cracks, no chips. I just think that is a stunning piece. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, I also got, now I want to see if I can fix the frame for this picture because the frame is old. Um, it has come all undone. The wood is splitting. Um, but I think with some wood glue and some clamps. Okay, so this is the little frame. Okay. And then I'll show you the picture that came in the frame. Um, and it says, just thinking of you. Plugging along from day to day. Eating three meals in the same old way. Thinking of you and liking you more every day than I did before. And this was in the picture frame. And I just thought it was so cute. And um, on the back, it's written from dad to mom, 4134, before they were married. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I love it. So we're going to fix that frame. I'm going to fix it back to, to as good as new, I hope. Going to see what I can do. All right, I did get a couple of clocks. This one is definitely, I would say, from the 70s. I don't see a date on it. Um, it does work. And the face does light up. Um, it's pretty cool, guys. It is pretty cool. There's the info on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I'll insert a picture of this plugged in and lit up for you. I got that. And... I got this one. This one I put batteries in. It works great. But the numbers also glow. Yes. This is a cool clock. Look at that. Just put the black light on there and they stay glowing. Isn't that awesome? I love this clock. It's so cool. It's got a snooze light. It's very, very cool. I love it. Love it. Um, I did get this beautiful. I love this. This little lidded um, candy jar. And it's got the pretty etched, like, laurel leaves or whatever on it. Isn't that pretty? It's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. I love this. How pretty that would look with some colorful candies in it. I also found this. This beautiful pink depression glass. I think this is actually like a powder jar. It does have a little bit of paint loss on the gold, as you can see. But, you know, hey, we're talking the 30s here. Um, it does have a tiny little, where did I see it? There's a tiny little flea bite right here. Right there. And was there any on the, there's none on the lid. It was just that little spot right there on the inside. But this is beautiful. Let me show you this lid again. 
Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It's beautiful. Then I found this. This is stunning. And this can be hung up too if you so choose. Um, it is hand painted and it is dated 1991. And it is this gorgeous trivet. I believe you're supposed to put your hot tea kettle on there or your coffee pot. I'm not quite sure. But it does have, um, it goes this way. It does have the holes that you could hang it from. And there's the signature there. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh my word. That is beautiful. Wow. I I didn't look at the date. I, I thought this would have been much older. Uh, this actually would go gorgeous in my bedroom, but I don't need any more stuff in my bedroom, you know? All right, we've got four more things, guys. I had to get this little guy. He is so stinking cute. Look at this little guy. <laughs> His feet, look at him. He's like... <laughs> he is adorable. He look at his little tail. I I couldn't help myself. What can I say? Nice little Easter basket stuffer, you know. Then I saw this, and I'm like, oh my god, this is a purse. It's a stinking purse. Look at. <laughs> look at. You unbutton, you unbutton this button here. Look, how cute is that for a little girl? Oh my word. Look at how cute that is. That is absolutely adorable. OMG. <laughs> I could not resist. I just could not. I also picked this up for me for crafting. It's a bag of Spanish moss. Quite a nice size bag. So that's for me for my crafting projects. I'm still watching that tree over there. And the last item is I found another Gianni Bernini Gianni Bernini, how you doing, Paisan? Gianni Bernini purse, and these sell for quite a decent price on eBay. This is in fantastic condition. There's the bottom. It's beautiful, nice and clean on the inside. There's the Gianni Bernini. Um, the zippers all work. I tested them in the store. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. There's a, a couple zipper pockets on the inside, some regular pockets. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful purse. Zipper pocket on the outside. Yep, love it. Is this tree doing anything? I don't see it doing anything. Okay, what happened to the light? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of the water is, but anyways, I did get this because I thought it was awesome. I'm going to shut it off now. But anywho, uh, so that's it, guys. That is my Goodwill thrift haul for this past Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know me. I love shopping. I, I could shop every single day of the week. <laughs> Unfortunately, my pocketbook says, oh, no, you're not. Better sit your ass down. <laughs> But anywho, guys, uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Share my videos and leave a comment below. 
and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye for now.